everybody, welcome to day four of our mobility series this month. And what we're working on again today is our upper back, our upper thoracic area, and our shoulders. So as I talked about yesterday, one of the things we want to do is test to make sure that the exercises that we're doing are giving us some improvement. Because as I said, some of these exercises will work for you, some of them won't work as well, depending on what issues that you have to deal with. So the first thing I want you to do is again, go into our quadruped position, the hands and knees, knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders, and just have that fingertip of the ear, rotate, open up, see how far you can go, and then do it on both sides and just take a note of how far you can rotate. And then at the end of this, we're gonna retest again and see if some mobility exercises that we've done have helped to increase that rotation. So let's dive into the first exercise. Today again, we're gonna be working on the upper thoracic, upper back, as well as shoulder mobility. So we're gonna give you three exercises for you today. And the first one is called the side line windmill. So you're gonna need either a foam roller. Uh, you can do this one without a foam roller, but this obviously just makes it a little bit easier or take even some books, just something that you can rest your leg on elevated. So the way it's gonna start is you're gonna be lying on your side and you're just gonna have something, have your knee resting on top of the foam roller. That's all you're using it for, just to support. And basically what we're gonna be doing, sideline, is you're gonna start in this position, and number one step is to protract your shoulder, meaning to push your shoulder forward, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna trace your thumb in a giant circle all the way around you. So I'm looking, and I wanna look at my thumb the entire time, going all the way around, all the way, tracing it, tracing it with my eyes the entire way, and then once I get here, I can come right back over, and then coming back through again. So one of the things you want to do is like you want to, again, what we talked about yesterday, the breathing, breathe out, depress that rib cage, and we want to keep that tension in the stomach so we don't end up arching through the back as we go around the circle, but we keep engaged, keep that low back totally still, and all our rotation comes to the upper back. So again, push that shoulder forward, head down, trace the thumb all the way as close to the floor as you can, looking at that thumb all the way and then coming back. Now, if you're really tight in the shoulders, you most likely won't be able to trace your thumb on the floor, but you just get it as close as you can along the floor all the way around, and do about five to 10 reps on each side. All right, so here is mobility exercise number two for today. And again, we're focusing on rotation and extension through the upper back. And what this one starts out as, is you're gonna be in a kneeling position with your elbows against your knees. And what this helps to do is just lock your lower back in a place so that more of the rotation comes to our upper back rather than from the lower back. So, elbows against your knees, and then basically you're just gonna take your fingertip and your elbow out to the side, and you're just going to rotate as much as you can out, and then coming back, and then repeating. Now, the very first step on this though, what we need to do is again, breathe out, depress that rib cage, and maintain that tension and that position of the rib cage as we go. So, because if I don't do that, I can extend and I can really open up. But if I depress that rib cage, breathe out, maintain that position, I can't get nearly as far. And then coming back. And basically just to look at it this way, here, breathe out, and then open up as far as I can, and coming down. Do that five to 10 reps on one side, and then go and do the same thing on the other side. After that, what we're gonna do is a reach under to really kind of unlock. So we've created some tension as we opened up. Now we're gonna release that by going through a little bit of a stretch, rotational stretch for the back. So now we're gonna be on our hands and knees, and then we're gonna take one arm and we're gonna slide it underneath the body, and we're gonna drop this shoulder down towards the floor. So I'm going and I'm dropping, and I'm using my hand that's planted, to press and help to increase that stretch. And I'm reaching those fingers out as far as I can. Hold it just for a one good breath. And so once you get there, sink into it, slowly press out, and then you can go straight to the other side. Sink into it. One nice big breath in and out. And then coming out. Again with this, breathe out. Depress that rib cage, hold that, and then go through the movement. Again, from the side, just go in here, dropping, breathe in and out, and then coming up. 
All right, so let's get into the last exercise for today. And this one looks really funny. Uh, my wife called it looks like a dead fish. And, but it's very, very effective in the sense that all we get over time, we get really stuck in our vertebrae. And we don't necessarily know how to rotate one vertebrae at a time through our spine. And this exercise helps us to do that and helps to get that movement in our spine again, one vertebrae at a time. Now, it looks simple, but when done properly, it's actually quite difficult. So you're gonna lie down on your back, arms fully extended overhead. And the first step here, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna be rolling over onto our stomach. But I want you to imagine from the waist down that you are paralyzed. You don't use your hips, your glutes, your legs at all on this movement. And essentially what you're gonna do, you're gonna reach an arm across the body, almost like 45 degrees, and you're gonna basically look down towards your armpit and out at an angle. And the more you look, the easier it's gonna make the movement. So if you have your head up this way, it's gonna be really hard. But you wanna take this arm, bring it across, try not to lift your head off the ground much, just look and pull, 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 pull your body, not losing, not using that lower body at all. And then you just flop over, hence the dead fish comes in. And then you do the exact same thing, rolling back over the other way. So arm up. Look, 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 keep going, and then roll it over. And so the best thing you wanna do, do that at, at least four or five times each way, and then switch sides. And what you're really gonna notice is one side is probably gonna be significantly harder than the other side, and that's the side that we wanna work on and do a few more reps, because our rotation is limited on that side, so therefore we have to work on that mobility and that rotation to be able to make it a little bit easier and that will translate into the rest of our day of just even turning and grabbing something out of a box or turning and grabbing the kids. All right, so that is our third exercise for the day. So that exercise is really deceivingly hard. Until you try it, you'll really notice the difference, especially if you try not to use your legs whatsoever. So one of the ways that you can make this easier is take your foam roller or something even like a, a yoga mat rolled up will be a little bit better. And instead of starting flat on your back like this, if you roll the foam roller kind of underneath you a little bit so you're already partially angled, this will make the start of that motion, which is the hardest, you bypass that so you work it and get used to that motion at an angle. And then as it gets easier, just move it a little bit farther away, you have a little bit less angle and then work until you get to the point where you're able to be flat on your back and then that's how you progress that movement. All right, so we've just done those three mobility exercises. Now it's time to do the retest. So I want you to go back into all fours here and then bring the fingertips, breathe out, set that rib cage, fingers at the ears, rotate and see how much farther that you can go into that rotation on both sides and see how much of an effect that these mobility exercises you just went through had on you and just the benefit that you'll get out of it for movement.